Yeah, because, you know, I, I practice what I preach. I think, you know, even my mom had a, a touch of it, too. And, and unfortunately, she had ended up in um, Princess Margaret for a little while. Oh, and I remember all this. And when she came out, the doctor said, man, listen, this woman, she is amazingly well. She recuperated and recovered so well. And again, that's a testament to her lifestyle and the way she oh, is. Yeah. So, you know, you know, ain't nothing to keep me down for long because, you know, training does start on Monday. Okay. Pardon? <laughs> but you know, I, I always make a joke that um, Fox Hill tells me this, the Barracuda diet, like when I got sick, yeah. I lost about 30 pounds, <laughs> I lost my eyebrows, I lost my eyelashes, and I said, never again. Never again. And never again. The thing is, I can't even remember ever losing weight when I've eaten Barracuda. I, look, I yeah. think this is my like 10th time. That was the instant diet. <laughs> And when I, and you know me, I like mascara, so oh, to yeah. not have eyelashes, <laughs> yeah, that's a difficult thing. That was a problem for me. Yeah. But you're right, it does taste good, don't yeah. it? So it a sweetness we're glad you're back. I now, know. But I'm happy to be back, man. No more Barry for me, that's it. If y'all see Shay eating Barracuda, listen. <laughs> At least a month. Yeah. Y'all yeah. so, take it from no. me, man. Hold my hand. Do something. Don't no mind, more Barry yeah. for me. I'm finished. Still dog God on the boat. Dr. Supreme, you see Barracuda? Uh, I stopped eating poisonous fish for Oh, a you too, eh? Okay, yeah. I <laughs> stopped eating poisonous fish. I've been about 10 times. So. Yeah, me too. So, yeah. so, but so you understood this was like an addiction. It took a while to stop. And see, the thing is, my husband is a fisherman, and so right. when he goes out, that's the only time we get to have and fresh okay. fish. That barracuda was Abba huge. Jack. Ah. Amba Jack is my, my, my yeah. favorite poison. Man, they still have that in the sea, Amba Jack. I, I used to live on Amber Jack Street at least but 50, oh, 20 years. I don't know fish. I fish is fish is fish. Fish is fish is fish. Yeah, but I, I stop. There's a difference. I, I see, yeah, I stop. I'm not having barracuda. As a matter of fact, I'm just giving up F-I-S. I'm not sure about the H yet, but I'm <laughs> starting to give up. Well, we're glad you're back because people really wanted yeah. to hear, you know, you promised to explain to persons about the choices that they make in deodorants and how yeah. it's contributing Apparently, we have a boil-a-thon going on in the Bahamas. Yeah, Everybody you know, got boil under their arm. Yeah, we, we must know as a people there is a difference between deodorant and antiperspirant. No, and we don't. Those Break it down. That I've been asked and approached in so many times. And unfortunately, the majority of our people think that antiperspirant is the same as deodorant. So today, we are going to answer some of those tough questions. We're going to talk about deodorant and antiperspirant. And we're going to talk about reading labels. That's what we're here for. Wonderful. Because we that's all we want to do, you know. Again, I know that a lot of times we have the shows on wellness or the shows on uh, the legal profession. It is no in no way, shape, or form meant to take the advice of a legal professional or Absolutely. medical professional. We're just answering your questions based on what are you guys doing, okay? So that's all the show is. No need to get all antsy. And we ain't trying to conflict nobody. <laughs> if you want to continue to eat MSG, do your thing. <laughs> but realize that there's a consequence. Like when you start shaking and Parkinson's in and yeah. ALS in and you can't remember nothing. Right. And, you, you know, just know yeah, that there's a consequence proud. for Absolutely. that. Yeah, there's so many illnesses are there that there's questions. Uh, what's the cause of this and what's the cause of that? And my daddy had this and my mother had that. And am I going to escape it or uh, am I doomed? Yeah, people are afraid, Doc. People are afraid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants to be sick because, again, you know, you could look, go to our hospital. If you, you know, and I know why no, I love this. It's a depressing no, place. We're not going down that line. It's a depressing trauma. place. So you don't have to get there, My though. Former work, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the corn mouth. But, but what, what I, the reason why I bring you guys on, though, is because one of the things I love about, you know, as we've started this voyage now, well, Cyprian, you've been doing this a long time. I always just say one of the things I love about Dr. Cyprian Strawn is that while he does practice allopathic medicine, he's open and receptive to something yeah, new. I used to go to him with allergies and um, ear infections all the time. He's like, stop eating dairy. He even tell me this video. Did I listen? No. Yeah. So I like how he combines the two, and that's what I love about you, Cyprian, that Thank you. you know, you could be the MD, but you can also realize that there's healing in the supplements and the herbs, and that's what I, I think you do. Absolutely. And I want to turn to you for a minute, too, Cyprian, to give a quick overview before she talks about deodorant. Because you apparently have people talking about this program that they're on, and I know mm. it worked for me. Mm. Um, but the minute, of course, you stop it, I tell you, you know, you can't go back to eating glue. Mm. But apparently, you're we. There's this belly fat phenomenon mm -hmm. that we call the bare belly or the pot belly or whatever. You oh, have him in gut. Oh yeah, the skinniest man in Africa. Mm. Look around you. What? You're onto something, though, Cyprian, and I want you to share it with our people. What what? What do we rely? Okay, a little bit of history. Yeah, take us back. Um, all my life I've been trying to, to, for my own health, trying to figure out and understand this human body. At the age of 10, um, I became allergic to shellfish. And 
for some reason, a lot of health issues slipped in afterwards. I had a belly by the age of 13. Sit-ups didn't work. Um, exercise, nothing worked. I used to tie a skip and a rope around my waist. You do? Underneath, <laughs> underneath my shirt as I went to school. But people still notice there's a picture of me in the yearbook at St. John's where there's this little slim fellow with a pot belly. Wow. And, right, because uh, you were always skinny. You were always tall and lanky. Right, but uh, I couldn't understand what it was. And so all my life I've been studying diet and nutrition before I went to medical school. Um, I've been studying and analyzing and analyzing. Um, did medicine, and still there were these issues and always these questions. I used to work with Dr. Adley and he said, uh, it's going to be impossible for you to get anybody to lose weight and truly keep it off. And I said, you sure? This is 18 years ago. And I said, wow. I think it's possible, so I do think it's possible. And you always keep checking and you keep searching. I've tried every diet, I've, I've checked uh, every supplement basically. Mm -hmm. and not been quite si satisfied because as you say, it always seems to come back. Right. Skinny fat, skinny fat, skinny fat, skinny fat, skinny fat. And uh, started to do more, more investigation, further investigation, what is the answer? And it seemed like, it seemed like it wasn't in which diet that people used. It wasn't in the amount of exercise that people used. Way back they used to say, well, thyroid disease would account for say two out of 10 of the situations. But what it, what it seems like it's turned out is like 9 out of 10 people have some sort of thyroid issue. Mm. And you used to tell me that, you know, like with her, I was thinking I had like sexy Bethel eyes. And I know, you know, you got teased, you're strong, so you all have big eyes too. The big strong eyes. Right. And, and so we, you, we later found out, and you used to say this to me, it's a thyroid thing, it's a thyroid thing. But you get the testing done and, and it doesn't happen. But the minute you start your program, you see its changes. So t take us more on that path. I stopped. So you basically was testing it on yourself. Right. And doing your research. Right. And when, when did something click in your brain that there, there's a link here? Uh, after going into extreme panic <laughs> last June. I'm in the lab, sorry. Where it seemed like my own personal diet wasn't working. I was already on two, two, on two medications for hypertension. Um, I was taking sinus medication every day for, for five years. And it just seemed, I said, how am I going to be a doctor explaining and teaching to people that I can't get my own health together? Mm. And I did a course in, in wellness and nutrition. The doctors don't really study nutrition to that degree. Okay. Say that again. Can you? And you know what I love about Dr. Cipri Strawn? He has the bape lap lap sap to say that. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of doctors won't admit that. We used to giggle when people ask us for vitamins because we say, oh, vitamins don't really work. But okay, if you want a vitamin, I can recommend one. Mm -hmm. Let me write this script <laughs> <Yeah>. for vitamins. <laughs> So, so you're saying that you went and took up some infants, you went and did a course on wellness and nutrition, because out of all them years of school, because Lord knows Cyprian used in school till we was 31. <laughs> My God, you was in school forever. 29, 29. So you, all of those years, yes. and you still felt the need to go and take a course in wellness and nutrition, because you didn't get that in med school. Right. I wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted to, to have the piece of paper to stick on the wall to say, yes, I did. <laughs> a little extra. But also, it, it was... It, it, it helped me to, to focus my, my search. Because there are these textbooks that were saying, okay, this is what they have found and what they thought was important and significant. And, you know, you, you can investigate. The world is so small now, so you can go on the internet and you can see what the Sudan is saying, you can see what Zaire is saying, you can see what Brazil is saying, China, New Zealand. And, and you start to pull this information and you, 